Good morning students. Welcome back to computer applications classes. In this session, we will be covering the rest of the topics of types of hardware. Let us see what we what are the different topics that we are going to cover. Storage devices, input devices and output devices. In a previous session, we have touched a few portion of storage devices. But in this session, we will be covering in a brief way. Let us first see why these storage devices are at all required. Like we can say that we have got a primary memory, but why then we should have this storage devices that is the external memory. Like primary memory has very limited storage capacity and it is not permanent. So, these are the very limit, these are the very important limitations for which we should have to cover, we have to overcome for that and for that we have got secondary storage devices to store our large amount of data and permanently. Now, let us have some examples. We can divide our storage devices in few categories like magnetic media or optical media. Magnetic media can considered as hard disk, floppy disk and optical media CD-ROMs, DVDs, Blu-ray disk. Okay. Now, let us discuss a few examples. First, floppy disk. Floppy disk is the one of the oldest storage devices and it can consider it used to have 1.44 MBS. Okay. It cannot have more, more than that. So, the capacity is very less. After that, we had hard disk. Now, this hard disk has got a platter. You can see over the screen. Over here. Here in this circle, in this figure. There is a disk sector, then the track sector, then the track platter head. This is the magnetic head with which we read it and then a actuator arm. Okay, and then these cluster. Okay, so this is actually a diagram of hard disk which is not that important but we should know. Okay. So, when we rotate the rotating disc are these rotating disc I guess all of you know these these are the disc sector. So, this when these rotating discs are coated with magnetic material and the information is recorded on the surface of these discs got it that is why whenever you record something the disc becomes blue ok starts getting blue like this. Proceeding to the next device that is compact disc. Compact disc is very cheap I guess all of you know it. The maximum capacity of it is 700 MB. What are the different types? They can be categorized in CD-ROM that is compact disc read only memory then CD-R that is CD recordable and CD-RW that is CD rewritable. Okay. Now, the next one is digital versatile disc digital versatile disc that is dvds it can have 15 times more than the compact disc okay the capacity is more than 15 times so it the capacity is 4.7 gb to 17 gb and moreover it is 20 times faster than cd what are the different types it is again the types are almost same as cds DVD ROM that is DVD read only memory, then DVD R DVD, DVD R that is DVD recordable, and DVD RW that is DVD rewritable. Now, the next one is thumb drives. Thumb drives means your pen drives, they use flash memories. What do you mean by this flash memory? Flash is actually a solid state memory. Okay. Flash is actually a solid state memory. Now, it USB flash drive 
is actually a portable data storage device obviously all of you know we can carry the pen drives okay now and it can have starting with 8 gb to 32 gb earlier we used to have 1 gb 2 gb 4 gb okay but nowadays it starts with 8 gb and we can proceed till 32 gb and more than that also now the next one we have got blu-ray disc blu-ray disc is again a high capacity one more than this uh, dvd and all it can have 25 gb to or 50 gb and there is again a type of blu-ray disc like that is triple layer blu-ray disc which exists of 100 gb and there are scientists who are uh, who claim that more than that means 100 gb more than 100 gb of blu-ray disc is also going to be in existence now the next one is memory stick now memory stick what is this importance or why what is the advantage of using this memory stick memory stick is more compact and easier to carry faster access to data faster data transfer more robust or difficult to damage the next one cloud storage it is a mechanism which is not a physical storage but over the cloud means over the internet we can secure our data we can save our data for example google drive this portion i have already covered in our previous session i hope now the storage devices is clear in a better way now proceeding to the next we have got input devices all of you know input devices is the devices that is used to enter data in a computer for example keyboard mouse microphone there is nothing much to explain about keyboard mouse or microphone the next one we have got scanner scanner i hope all of you know scanner is actually used to create electronic forms of printed images or text like i am having a book which is printed but i want to have a digitized version of it so what i will do i'll use a scanner now what are the different types of scanner we have got we have got handheld scanners we have got flatbed scanners then drum scanners okay next we have got concept keyboard this is another type of input devices concept keyboard is nothing but i guess all of you have seen in the shopping malls you must have seen the keyboards wherein different keys is responsible for a different food so that you can buy it so that is where a keyboard which is having keys for a specific dedicated function that is your concept key or concept keyboard then touch screen touch screen i don't have to say much about it because touch screen we are using in our mobiles we are using in our tabs okay so we are using it in our atms so it is actually it detects where on the screen surface you are touching so from there it is getting our getting the information so that's why this is again a type of input device the next one we have got barcode reader what is this barcode reader it is used to read barcodes now where you can find this barcode at the back side of your books at the any material that you are going to buy any goods any items you are going to buy from the shopping malls there is a barcode then what is the magnetic strip reader magnetic strip reader is actually found in our atm cards or any card that you are getting from shopping malls and all okay so that strip that magnetic strip is very important so magnetic strip reader what it does it encodes the data magnetically from the strip and read by a machine as it is swept the moment you swip that that strip that information is read from that there are some more types okay of input devices like omr 
this is optical mark reader this is used to read what this is used to read the um, OMR sheets that is used for your examinations like you give your Olympiads and all yes then we have got optical character reader this is again for such type of things only then MICR magnetic ink character reader this is used for digital signatures in banks and all then we have got light pen light pen you have seen the stylus in our schools right stylus are used for writing on the smart boards so that is again a light pen okay next proceeding to output devices output devices is used to provide your output in human readable form so that you can understand if it provides you in the machine readable form you won't be able to understand right so that is your output device now let us have the first example of output device its monitor we can have different types of monitors like cathode ray tube liquid crystal display plasma monitors touch screen monitors and then organic light emitting display so these are the different types of output device uh, types of monitors next printers printers all of you know it is used to print the soft copy or, or the um, data or the output on a page means handouts to get a handouts now it has got two different types one is impact printers another is non-impact printers impact printer for example dot matrix and non-impact printers for example inkjet then laser printers and what is the advantage of this non-impact why we have this non-impact non-impact is very high speed cost effective and better print quality so that's why nowadays we do not use dot matrix we use inkjet printers or laser printers then we have got speakers all of you know speakers is used to provide the sound to you in a larger way okay in a crowd where you can have our speaker to listen some information so it receives so speakers what it does how it performs it receives sounds in electronic form and convert it to sound format so that everyone can hear then we have got plotters what is this plotter plotter is actually what it does it the graphics output whatever it is having is used to create drawing on paper so the plotter is used to create the drawing this is actually a graphics output device what are the different types of plotter we can have when we have can have pen plotter and the photo plotter pen plotter is moved in 2d across a paper means two dimensional then the photo plotter uses fiber optics technology to produce the image on the dry silver paper so that we can have a better quality of print okay then we have got projector projector you must have seen in our smart uh, in our uh, classes in the classrooms the projectors is used to display whatever data is there in the machine in your computer or in your pc on a large screen on a flat surface the smart board what we are having that is a flat surface over there it is projecting that image which is inside your pc right with this we are covering output devices hope the session was enjoying and you have understood the input devices output devices and the storage devices with this we are covering the types of hardware if you have any doubt ask me stay tuned thank you